Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Starbase, Yorl tutorial for you guys who are interested in learning about a little bit of Yorl coding and all that kind of stuff. So make sure to check out the previous video I have made. Um, it's just basically telling you guys how the fields and things work in the game. And uh, now we're going to focus a little bit more on a on the Yorl, like the programming side and whatnot. Um, so yeah, all I've done is just went ahead and connected this chip socket to over here to the network. So now this uh, this YOLOL, YOLOL chip is connected to the network as we can see here via these cables. Um, and uh, yeah, so what I want to do now is I'm going to go, as you, if you guys remember, like we've gone and edited this button, change its name to lamp and this light's name is lamp so when we press this button the on value is equal to one when we press this button it becomes on and it changes and whatever it is connected to will get that value of one which is over here that becomes one and that means this light will switch on as we press this button but what happens if we do this okay lights now this button lo is looking for something in the network with the name lights. Although it is nothing. Nothing is called lights. This is called lamp, but nothing else is called lights. If we change this name to lights right now, then it will work. But, you know, we don't want... we, we Like, uh, sometimes you go kind of want to go a little bit more custom with your buttons and things and call this lights okay because we want to press this button everything that is a light sw should switch on and sometimes like uh you want to call this maybe interior lights or something um and you have two buttons one is interior and the other button should be exterior or something but you don't want to press this button and then all those lights i mean you can go ahead and do the direct connection but um you know maybe you want to get a little bit fancy <laughs> Just for the sake of purposes of this video, um, we're gonna say like we we need your all code to make this happen. And um, previous episode, I did tell you guys like my favorite thing to my go-to uh, programming is if statements. I do enjoy if statements. Um, so basically, it is um, how can I put it for you guys? If I design a ship and I want something to do something very specific, okay, I go ahead and say in programming programming languages, if I press this button, then this light must switch on. Otherwise, do something else. Okay? Oh, that's basically just a normal like English layman's term. If I press this button, then this light must switch on. Otherwise, do something else. Um, in programming language is if light button gets the value of one then lights on or lamp should get the value of one else do something else <laughs> easy as that so um let me quickly talk to you guys about what uh, uh the yolo chip here a couple of very interesting things um well maybe one or two things first of all there are three different vari uh, variations of the yolo chips if we go to devices to yolo over here you get the basic professional and advanced um, the basic one can do basic arithmetics like plus, minus, multiply, divide, um, less, equal, more, and, or not, <laughs> not, and, or, all those things. Um, advanced gets extra things like square roots and factorial and absolute value. And professional goes all the way up to trigonometric trigonometric functions, uh, inverse trigonomic trig and, and stuffs. Okay, it does it's it maths better. <laughs> okay, so um let me just go ahead and delete that. So that is what you um the, the basic differences. Um you get a normal chip socket like this one, you get a memory chip which just um it does stuff what a memory i don't know what that does <laughs> don't don't ask me i'd like to use chip sockets thank you very much um you can also use a rack um like this and 
have a chip reader inside of it. It um, is very modular. It helps with a couple of things. Um, and you can also have multiple chips in a chip rack like this. So you can take one of these chips and add it into the top slot, middle slot, and bottom slot. So it will read all three of them. And it's a nice compact design over there. But I like to use these because sometimes like um, you're busy with a ship or something and you need to see this screen. Um, if we quickly just go into like test mode over here, um, you just click on the middle button and pull down. It's like unlocking a phone and then you can go ahead and lock it again. Simple as that. Um, and then in the editor mode, you just go ahead and click on that and say edit script. Now, this is important. Line speed, uh, read speed. Uh, every 0.2 seconds, a line gets read. And then it will go to the next line, 0.2 seconds. So every 0.2 seconds, it will go through a line all the way up until uh, 20, 20 lines. So there's only 20 lines, which you can code in. There is a maximum a number or a maximum amount of text you can add. Um, and there's like, I think it's... Um, yeah, so it takes, I think, a couple couple of seconds or so for it to read through everything. Um, it is, it's quick, but if you're going to wait for something or like, uh, usually when I write code and something happens, then I have to wait for it to go through all the lines up until it goes back to one. So once it reaches 20, it goes back to one and goes down. But there is a little trick I'm going to show you guys in the coding uh, in a second, um, which you can do to minimize the amount of reading speed. All right. With that, that said and done, um, basically what we want to do is we want to want to use your code to tell like if I press this button, then this light must turn on. OK, very easy. And like I said, I like to use if statement. So we start with um, if, okay. I think if you, I don't know if you have to write it in capitals, well, we'll find out. If, now we, we remember we called this button um, lights, okay? That's its name. That's the field name. Literally um, the name of this button. This one is lamp, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to copy it, its name. So in this editor over here, what you do is you use double point, the uh, symbol next to the L on your keyboard, to the right of your L, okay? And then I control V. You can copy, paste, and whatever in this. But what that double point over here that does is it's, te it's telling the YOLO or this chip that this is a field, okay? Or this is, All right? So if the f um, if lights, the button called lights, um, is equal to one, then, okay? So um, we have e is equal to, and the, how I read this is the first um, equal sign is, is always is, and the second equal sign is equal. So is equal to one. Okay. So if I if the if um, lights gets the value of one, meaning if lights this button gets the value of one. So if this zero turns into a one. All right. Then, then, okay, then, lamp, remember, we have to tell the script what uh, what must happen next. Where must this happen? Well, wherever the name lamp pops up, and we have this um, lamp over here. So its field name is lamp, and its editable value is over here, which is zero. But if we tell YOLO, okay, listen, um, if that button gets the value of one, then lamp should also get the value of one. Okay, so this, uh, this is equal to one, but this, uh, okay, so let me put it this way. 
um, if that button gets the value of 1, then lamp must get the, this value, which is the value of 1. Does it make sense? Like, if lights is equal to 1, then lamp is 1. Okay? So that lamp gets the value of 1, meaning this lamp, okay, that value is 1. It's going to be 1. As soon as this button, this lights button, gets the value of 1, then this lamp gets changed, its value gets changed to 1. Okay? If lights gets the value of 1, then lamps get, uh, is, uh, gets the value of 1. Or else, okay, else, um, you can, you can type in else, or how, um, I just want to check something before we continue on. Uh, what you can do with if statements is... Wait, I just want to... Hold on. I just quickly want to go make double sure. I don't want to lie to you guys about something. So hold on tight. Let me just quickly go check something out. I'll be right back. Okay, welcome back. I just quickly wanted to make something sure. Um, just I loaded up one of my other ships just to make sure I don't. I'm not going to lie to you guys about something, um, because I'm getting two programming languages mixed up with each other now. Okay, so back here. Um, so we were at if the button named lights gets the value of one, then lamp his value or its value gets changed to one, or else we write in else. You go to one. Okay. And then we have to say end. So. If the lights gets the value of one, then lamp gets changed to one. Its value gets changed to one. Or else, you know, else go to one. So remember when I told you guys with the line speed, like it will go through each and every line. Although, even if it's empty, it will go all the way through to 20 and come back to 1. If we say go to 1, we're literally telling the YOLO script to keep on reading um, uh, line 1. Because if the light is equal to 0, but what if it's not 0? Okay, then this else statement is going to kick in. So if lights uh if the lights are not equal to one then um go to one that means stay here on the first line go to one we can tell it to go to two if we want to okay you can also do this okay you can do this as well or go to one and then end uh end okay so basically what happens is if the if if lights isn't um, one if it's zero or something else then go to two so we're telling it go to line two and what does line two say go to one <laughs> so it's kind of redundant to do this or self-defeating so basically what you want to do is keep it at one and then always try to always remember to end the um each line or whatever with end um i tend to do it like even if it's not necessary i always end or use the word end at the end of every line um i'm not 100 percent sure if you do need to do that but i do it because like sometimes the the game is just like i don't know what this means so i'm going to skip it if you don't have end over here if we don't if you don't have end if we just leave it as this it's it writes it as it reads it as empty so it's not going to read it at all but if we put an end it's going to read all the way up until the end. That's how I remind myself. It's going to uh, run to all the way to the end. Okay, so basically what we've just done is we told the script or the YOLO if lights gets the value of 1, if this button is switched on, then lamp must switch on. Lamp gets the value of 1. Otherwise, stay on this first line and like I, how i remind was like how i say it in my head is if the light is 
if light gets the value of one and then this lamp will switch on otherwise stay on this up until when that changes that's like how i read it so if we've done this correctly and we run it um i can quickly show you guys over here as we can see it stays there okay because lights um the button this thing it doesn't have it's on zero the light is zero it's not one okay if it's not one then we told the script to stay on line one up until when that value that light gets the value of one when that value becomes one if it's equal to one okay so what happens if i press this button now well the light switch is on and here's a good example can you guys see the lines being red from 1 to 20 if i just keep my mouse stable see how it gets to 20 then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 you see how it runs through that but if i press lights again it's going to run through but up until when it gets to here because lights does not have the value of zero so it will stay on one and uh yeah that's how you kind of um that's the programming you know you guys can try it at um uh at home you know <laughs> in your side of the game um so you can copy this uh code over here just make sure that this button its first field name this is lights and this light its name is lamp and there you go bada bing bada boom that is how you write code and there's other things there's so many things you can do so many other things um just trying to think of what could be next um yeah so that is what i can teach you guys today thank you so much for joining me here on starbase hope you guys did enjoy see you guys next time bye bye